Today, I want to talk about different types of discipline. And before I get the video started, I just want to say that this only applies to my experience and people that I know. So growing up for me as an Asian kid, I was always taught to respect my elders, to respect my dad, to respect my mom, to respect my grandmother and their decisions for me. Basically, I was a slave. The way Asians discipline their kids is not really physical discipline. It's more psychological. Asians will make the kids feel so sad and so bad for you that they will do whatever it is that you want to do. Hey son, can you wash the dishes for me? Why would I want to wash the dishes? I don't want to get my hands dirty. Okay son, don't worry about it. I see how it is. You know, like, it's alright. Maybe I raised him wrong. Maybe I spoiled him. Maybe I'm not a good parent. Maybe I'm not a good dad. Tommy's kid always washes the dishes for his family. He's such a good kid. Like, his dad raised him right. What happened, what happened to Jay? Really? That's how he's gonna be? That's how you want to play it? Fine, Dad. I'll wash the dishes for you. I'm sorry I didn't want to wash the dishes before. I'll, I'll I'll be a better son to you. I'm sorry. And that's basically how my childhood went and probably the same as any Asian household. They make you feel bad and like they compare you to other kids and they make you do things that way. They don't really physically discipline you. The next type of discipline I've seen is when I went to my black friend's house or African American, however you want to put it. Now keep in mind the type of discipline that I've experienced was very consistent. So I went to my black friend's house. I was in his room and we were both chilling playing video games. And then his dad comes in the room. Son, I'm gonna need you to take out the trash today. And his dad walks out the room and then my friend replies, Nah, man, I don't want to take out the trash. I'll do it tomorrow. And when my friend said that, I was like literally shocked. I could feel the tension in the air. Stuff was about to go down. Oh my god, this is about to go down. I've never seen this before, man. What is this game? Mmm, what's gonna happen? Huh? Oh, pa, this is interesting. This is new. Mmm. And then my friend's dad came back in the room. What? What'd you say to me? Oh snap, I'm about to get it, what's gonna happen? And I kid you not, my friend turned into the most obedient kid ever. He dropped his remote control instantly, stood up straight, looked his dad in the eye and said, yes dad, I'll do it right now. And he went outside, took out the trash. To me, it seemed like his dad didn't really have to physically discipline him, but his son knew what was gonna happen if he didn't listen. You know what I'm saying? The next type of discipline is when I went to my Hispanic friend's house. Now me and my friend, we're in his kitchen and we were eating something his mom made for us. My friend finished first, he put the dishes in the sink and he walked away. His mom saw what he did, came over, looked at the sink and then looked at him and was like, you're gonna have to wash these dishes. And my friend came back to the sink, looked at the dishes, looked at his mom and was like, mom, I don't. And before he could even finish the sentence, his mom was just like this. And I was just sitting there like, Should I wash those dishes, man? Should I wash those dishes? And you know how you get mad and embarrassed when you're like your mom or your dad plays you out in front of your friends? Like that was him. He was standing there with his fists clenched and he was about to cry because he was so angry and like so embarrassed. And I was just like, mm hmm. This is about to go down, man. This is about to go down. Hmm. This is good. This is really good. Thank you for the food. Um, end the show. Okay. But it was safe to say. My friend made the smart executive decision to wash the dishes. When I was done, I washed my dishes. I was not going to end up in the same position my friend was in. But that was the first time I seen one of my friends talk back to their parents and he didn't finish the sentence and get slapped. I was like, whoa, this is crazy. And the last type of discipline I've seen was when I was at my white friend's house. Now my friend has a dog and you know dogs need to go out in order to do their business, you know? And if they don't go out, they do the business at home. And his dog was barking a lot, you know, wanting to go out because he needed to go. But my friend didn't want to take him out. So his mom, being annoyed by all the barking, told my friend to take the dog out. Keep in mind, I've been to like a wide variety of friends' houses and I've seen a wide variety of different types of disciplines, right? So at this point, I'm like, nothing can surprise me. We were in his basement watching TV and my friend says, Mom, I don't want to take the dog out. You take the dog out. It's not my responsibility. I was so shocked. I was afraid of what's gonna happen to my friend. Like I went to my Hispanic friend's house. I seen what happened. I seen what happened to him. Now the way my white friend talked to his parents, I, I didn't know what I was in store for, you know? But at the same time, I was a little excited. Let's see what happens here. My friend's about to die. His mom about to kill him. Hmm. Hmm. Time of death, Um, 8 p.m. On a Tuesday, I was really just anticipating his death. Like he was about to die that day. I was like, there's no way I'm gonna see him ever again. But what happens next 
blows my mind even more. My friend was angry that his mom asked him to take the dog out. So he went upstairs in a rage and went to go talk to his mom. And I followed him, you know? I was not gonna miss out on what was gonna happen there. So my friend was yelling at his mom again. And I was like, yo, don't do that, man. You're digging your grave even more. It's getting deeper and deeper. And then for some reason, I, I felt like the universe just didn't make sense anymore. I feel like I was in a, another dimension, you know? Like, I was in the twilight zone. My whole perception of discipline completely 180 180 After my friend was done yelling at his mom, you know what the mom said? You know what the mom said? I'm sorry, I'll take the dog out. You don't have to do anything. You could just go back downstairs and watch a movie. I was like, I was like worried for my friend, but I was like kind of excited to see like what was going to happen. So I was like, yeah. But when his mom said that, I was just like, wait, what? I basically didn't know what to think. God must really love my friend. The Holy Spirit took control of his mom and forgave him. That's the only possibility that I can think of. See either that, or white people are crazy. I'm just kidding, but keep in mind that this doesn't apply to everyone. This is only through my experience and people that I know. Thank you all for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below what kind of disciplines that you guys have been through or have seen, and if any of these in the videos apply to you. Thank you guys so much for your support. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe for more, and also share the video for me if you can. It will really help me out a lot. And uh, until next time, guys, thank you guys for watching. Peace.